the 144,000 teachers and October 22nd, 1844 restored. According to the prophecy of Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, on to 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. What we are offering here is the restoration of the date of October 22nd, 1844, and also bringing in the calendar that was used in order to give you the validity of October 22nd, 1844 position. We are offering here a very, very unique collection with a letter of conveyance, introductory statement of problem and purpose, a chronological development to October 22nd, 1844, the October 22nd crisis and the aftermath, the date of the decree to rebuild and restore Jerusalem, the crucifixion date, astronomical soundness of October 22nd, 1844, and in part six, the recapitulation, conclusions, affirmatory statement. These wonderful, wonderful studies were available in 1939. But because, again, it was showing that the biblical calendar does not always give you a Saturday for Sabbath corresponding to the Gregorian reckoning, this wonderful study was put into archives and was rediscovered, reopened, we should say, in 1995, and then reopened finally at last for us to present it to you in 2007. But it has just been uploaded in the past years in order for you to see the complete collection. We encourage you to visit the website of 144,000teachers.org in order to see what is presented in this page of 1844 in the menu and what is being restored. The Millerites were prisoners of hope. The Great Day of Atonement of October 22nd, 1844 restored the biblical calendar of Leviticus chapter 23 and is now the test in truth of the seven-day Sabbath. The calculation and observation of the biblical calendar in modern times can be computed through the moon phases data calculation and the fraction of the moon illuminated data observation, which have been obtained at the U.S. Naval Observatory. And we are giving you here all these data, and they are carrying you through in order to understand the value of how to calculate the biblical calendar in order to restore not only the 22nd of October, 1844, but also the true biblical calendar worship time. And this is what we are offering here, Biblical Calendar Movement 2020, 2030. We are also presenting to you a unique collection, which again was prepared in 1939, following the study of the validity of the position of the 22nd of October, 1844. On Appelay, this collection was put into archives, but now we are offering it to you for your perusal. And we pray that you take the time to study this wonderful manuscript. We recommend you start first with the six part series and conclusion that we have showed to you at the beginning of this short session but we do also invite you to visit these wonderful studies that the Millerite took the time in their time to study in order to come up with the 22nd of October for 1844 for the Great Day of Atonement. As you can see, there are also some dates that are quite younger than the 1800 era, but some are older as well. You can see here that these are at the time of definitely the Millerite, but this a little bit further down on history, you will see that it brings us more detail having to do with that session that was held in 1939, that conference. But then after seeing the truth about the biblical calendar, not always being on the Saturday Gregorian reckoning, it was put away. 
All this evidence needs to be re-examined in the light of the Great Day of Atonement computation of October 22, 1844. For it is so bold, so utterly non-conventional, and so potentially upsetting, radically altering the central aspects of the biblical, astronomical, chronological, historical, cultural, economic, and political understandings of most people, it should not be ignored. We intend through this calendar restoration to begin a most interesting debate and critical discussion of all relevant issues for the last great conflict may have just begun. And you can find more information on our website, Biblical Calendar Movement. We also want to invite you to look into this wonderful study that we have presented here, particularly this one here, this study on William Miller's dream. Most people have never heard about this, but if you click on this William Miller dream, you will see the dream that he had regarding the two beautiful trunk or coffer here, you can call it, and the golden key. And you will see that William Miller's dream is being accomplished first with the feast that was discovered in 1844 of the Great Day of Atonement based on Leviticus 23 and the biblical calendar. And then second, now the biblical Sabbath with the enlarged trunk or beautiful coffer, which now reveals the Sabbath more fully. So we have not only the Sabbath of the seventh day as we are looking at, we're looking also at the feast, of course. And we're giving you, giving you in this calendar of 2020, 2030, what are the dates for this wonderful study? Now, as you look at this collection, on the left here, as we're showing, you can see that it is full of wonderful informations. It also gives you an idea of the spirit at the time of the 1939 study by the scholar of the Seventh-day Adventist Church at the time, where Elie Froome could see the validity of the calendar, while Andreessen saw but thought that it would be too confusing for the member of the church, the members, to be able to see the value. And this is the reason he gives in objecting the publication of the validity of October 22, 1844. We do invite you to study. We do invite you to search for yourself. We will not give you any, any pressure on to accepting this truth. Study to be found approved rightly dividing the word of God. And may the Holy Spirit guide you in your research is our prayer as we submit it to you at 144,000 teachers. And again, it's the restoration, not only of the 22nd of October, 1844, but also of the biblical Sabbath by which we stand, do the heaven fall, may the Lord help us. And you go to the menu, and this is here in 1844. God bless you.